Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I'm going to be doing an FYI before you buy on the Lululemon Scuba hoodies. I have two different styles that I'm going to talk about, um, the half zip and the full zip. So I have these both in extra small slash small and I wear typically a size four in Lululemon. The full zip is $128. The half zip is $118. Now they say they're oversized, but they're definitely cropped, okay? Like they, they look cropped on me. They're about waist length and it's very flattering, but I don't know why, but I feel like on me, it doesn't, they don't sit where the photos look like they sit. And I also feel like I wanna point out that these are very, very different from the original scuba hoodies. Um, this is still a thick material, still nice and fleecy, but the original material was quite a bit more stiff and thicker than this. But I think that's just like a changing with the times, also the different like fits and everything they have going on now. So yeah. All right, so let's get into the like meat and potatoes of this, which is the sizing of it all. It is split sizing. So it's extra small, small, medium, large, large, extra large. And if I'm being honest with you, I'm not a big fan of split sizing. I, I, I personally feel like straight sizes are just better in general it allows everybody to kind of know where they're gonna sit where i think split sizing does win is if you are in between sizes in terms of if you are a bit shorter and you find that like a medium lengthwise is great but you like the room of a large that sort of thing for me a split sizing because i am a small going down to an extra small like i always say i sometimes can fit an extra small but you know that i would almost always rather size up into a medium it's just so much more comfortable for me i like a longer sleeve i would be okay with more length i would be okay with more shoulder so like for me this split sizing doesn't necessarily work I think there are a lot of people in my boat, but I know that there are a lot of people where this split sizing works out really well for them. It hits where they need it to hit. It hits that like in between and mid ground where they are. So it's kind of a neither good nor bad thing, but honestly, I do think that it would be just better for brands to have extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, double X, etc. This allows them also to have the illusion of a bigger size range while having only three SKUs, right? Because technically they're saying it fits extra small to extra large without having to provide extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, fine. So they cut down two uh, SKUs on the sizing. And I don't know if that is as calculated as that or just they do feel like the sizing is that variable, but either way, it does create some interesting middle grounds and removes some middle grounds, right? So good, bad, whatever. It's ne it's a neither here nor there sort of thing. It's neither good nor bad. Um, but for me personally, I, I would just like to be able to buy a small or buy a medium. Like, because for me, a medium large is going to be too big because I know that it's also made with women who fit size large. I am not a size large. And I don't, you know, like there's not, I don't need that much variability, if that makes sense. And vice versa, I think if you are a medium but wanted to fit a little bit tighter or a large and you wanted to fit a little bit tighter, you don't have that option. You don't have the ability to go almost one size down. It's like you're almost committing to two, like a size and a half up or a size and a half down, which in a lot of cases is too much, right? And there's also no, nothing bigger than a large, an extra large double XL, right? Um, which then again, 
also like if you are a let's say you're a triple xl right and you know that with oversized sweaters you can fit a double xl in this case with the xl double xl size you might fit it you might like it has so much ambiguity in it i think the ambiguity is great in a lot of circumstances but i think more with like if you want to go down if you want to find a tighter fit in this particular size like in this particular like hoodie for instance because i know that some people either like to go like up a size or two in oversized stuff but maybe sometimes people like a color or like a specific thing about the oversized but wanted to fit a little bit more slim fit if you're doing that then you know there are some issues um i also think personally that if you're on the smaller side of the spectrum like i am there are far less issues with sizing like this than if you are on the larger side of the spectrum the same problems exist but i think from my understanding of how the sizing works right now i think and i personally believe that when you're especially when you have like there's so much variability in where you carry your weight shoulder size hip size long torso short torso inseam all of that sort of stuff right in the larger sizes that variability can truly be so much so much more pronounced um i find that in a small if you're a straight size small you're you're you know you're you're a small but as soon as you get into that mid range of standard American sizing, mid range kind of starts around a size six. I know this is a controversial place where people think it, but like traditionally mid size starts at six. So I'm just gonna go with that based on what I learned in fashion school, okay? Don't come for me. Um, starting around a size six, because the grading charts start to exponentially get bigger, but also the needs to be addressed are become not different right same needs need to be addressed with the like with the smaller size but they can there's so so much more disparity and so much more differentiation in the larger size ranges that is more noticeable and can be a really big pain point there because if you're on the smaller side right let's say you have a very pronounced hourglass figure it's super easy if you're a size small to say, oh, size small, okay. Usually it's whatever, you can take it in, it's okay. But let's say you are a size large, but you have your, you have almost no bust. You have so much extra fabric built into that rib chest area, right? And it's harder to alter that and if you're then being put into like a medium large where you need it for your shoulders and you need it for your rib cage and you need it for your hips but you're like a more like more flat chested right like there's there like it's just you need like there's more fabric in the wrong places for lack of a better word in a lot of cases and the size chart as is in general doesn't i mean it's not it's not economically feasible for a lot of companies to do this but there is not enough intermediary steps to kind of make it that accessible i think companies that do have like extended sizing for larger chests is a great first step obviously in a sweater you're not getting that but even this like there's no tall or petite equivalency of this so if you are taller than i am have longer limbs than I do, the sleeves are going to be a problem for you. If you are shorter than I am, the like cr the cropped, not cropped waist lengthness of it may also be a problem, right? So not saying that having just like a straight size would address that, but having a straight size at least begins to address a little bit more of those sizing things because also 
women's bodies are so diverse. We have so many different needs and concerns to be addressed in sizing that the more sizes you give, even if they're just straight sizes, the more opportunity you give somebody to find something that could work for them or they could make work for them, right? My examples might be terrible examples, but ultimately what's always the case here is we need the ability to find something that is close or that gives us the ability to make it work, right? And three sizes is not enough. I'm sorry, Lulu, three sizes is not enough. It's not representative of the North American population. It is not even necessarily representative of the Canadian population, the country of your founding. So I always talk about sizing. It's tiring. It is tiring to continue to have to every single one of these FI before you buys have to say the sizing is good and it works for me but I understand that there are a lot of you who this might not work for simply because a company didn't want to add two SKUs or three more SKUs to something and it's not like they don't sell this in so many different variations right like there are so many different colors so many different cuts so many different styles of this like it's it's if they're marketing it as a top seller that scuba range is a big line for them if it's a big line for you then you should be able to invest to make it more size inclusive no anyways it's just yeah on that front um yeah i think it does work but it's not as inclusive as it really could and should be. And it does not address a number of variables in women's bodies and that should be variables in women's fashion. Okay, okay. Now, going back to the sweater themselves, they are nice, okay? It is a thick sweater. There is a nice fleecy inside. Um, I don't know, I don't really find them snuggly though, which is kind of weird. They do have a nice fleecy inside. They are warm, they are soft, but I don't, I don't in my mind associate them with snuggly. Like I, I personally would prefer to just pull on my crew neck and just be like, ooh, cozy. And it could just be because on these, for me, the sleeves are a little uncomfortable. I find them a little short. So when I have my thumbs through the thumb hole, it like, pulls <laughs> in a very uncomfortable way i don't like it and you know me i like to have my hands tucked into my sleeves so that is definitely a consideration for me i also find that the hoods especially on this quarter zip which they call a half zip it is a half zip i'm just making things up it's a half zip um this sleeve or sorry this hood pulls it back and causes this neckline to like choke me. And I don't love that. That's just maybe probably with me and my personal preferences and how it sits on my body and how it wears. But for me, it's just not very comfortable. So I do like them. I think they look great on me, but overall, I'm not finding them sweaters that I'm reaching for all the time. I personally, bought two of these last year and I genuinely haven't really worn them that much. These and my set active cropped half zips as well. I don't really reach for them very frequently and it's truly just because I don't find them very comfortable and yeah, it looks nice on. Like they all look nice on. I like how they look on. Every time I wear them, I'm like, these look cute, but honestly, when it comes to actually reaching for them, they're not that, like, they're not top reach for it for me. Um, now, I'm sure that there are tons of you out there who are like, I love my scuba hoodie, but I think start with one. I would start with a full zip if I'm being honest. Start with a full zip 
and then see how you get on with it. I find honestly this pulling it off too much, too much. I love this. I love the color. I love how this looks with jeans. It's great, but it's just, I just can't, I don't know. Maybe I just need to force myself to wear them and I will have a better time with it, but I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. So unfortunately, they only get a seven out of 10 for me. They're quite expensive. And my Aritzia ones, which are similar price, um, I just would wear a lot more. I think maybe if there was a crew neck in this fabric combination with the fleece on the inside and the thicker, more structured like outside, sure, I would probably get behind it a little bit more, but I just, don't reach for these and they're just taking up space right now in my closet, unfortunately. So that is that. Um, and that's probably just honestly like personal preference, personal opinion, but yeah, I don't know. Um, they're nice. I'm sure a lot of you would like them, but for me personally, if you find you have a similar style to me and similar likes and dislikes, they're okay. Um, they're good, but I don't personally feel like they're great. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.